Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. Um, we're looking at the GCSE Design and Technology NEA examples. These are from AQA but they're pretty similar across the board and hopefully it'll give you some ideas for your um, GCSE Design and Technology coursework. We're looking at sheet 3 here and sheet 3 we're calling specific task analysis. Now <clears throat> the responses for this one, we've got three responses here, and they're more diverse in the, from the examples. But I think what we're looking at here is um, the excellent design focus and full understanding for the impact of, on, on society, economic and social effects, um, looking, starting to look at the work of others, and evidence of in investigation of design possibilities have taken place. That's in this 9 to 10 mark band. Um, so... This student here has used a, another spider diagram. <clears throat> but if you can see here, if you look at this piece here, um, they have said about the understanding of the environment. My aim is to present, prevent waste and pollution in cities for an environmentally sustainable future. I could possibly research into planters. So sort of saying... They've got the needs of the, the client, but they're saying how can they sort of look at the, look at that more closely. Um, <clears throat> here, um, this this one is about a children's activity pack. Um, what they've done is looked at things like costing, um, layout of it, how it might go. So that they're kind of having some design ideas, coming in more closely to what they might be making. They know what they're making from the client, but they're just what themes might be suitable and and then here you can see that there is a I'm going to uh, find out it says sort of saying what is next or he or she could be she um, saying what the next um, things that they they might um, look at the, the next directions they might look at now this one is a little bit different because this one is identifying and investigating design possibilities so they've actually used that um used that fo the 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 statement from the mark the highest mark band which is i quite like that that they've said you know I'm, you can to the examiner i i'm telling you exactly what i'm aiming for here and what they've done this isn't really existing products it's more of a um it's more of a mind map, just, you know, uh, not sorry, a mind map, uh, more of a mood board, just showing a whole load of images. So this is the student that's creating a um, sort of uh, vegetable waste bin. So they've looked at different ones. He said, I've collected a range of uh, photos to help me expire, uh, inspire my design concept drawings. The green circles are different types of air filters. So looking at how... Um, the green circles show air filters, orange have design features, and blue circles show different approaches. So, not really analysing these about what they're made or anything like that, but just looking at the design possibilities that are out there. So, what design possibilities could you use? Um, I, and I, I quite like that because it's just, it's a lot of images. You could then pick some of these to further analyse, which would be nice, but we're not looking and saying this one costs 9 99 this one's made of stainless steel. What we're looking at is just w what is out there. What are in the, you know, quite clearly in, in identifying, investigating design possibilities. Um, and obviously this is about recycling, so it's about recycling vegetables, so we're, we're getting in that um, economic and social social effects in there so as i say quite quite different approaches to the third sheet um you you know th this one is quite good because it's just looking at ideas from materials um w what you could do there but it's just taking that client's idea and saying where am i going to look for my inspiration what do i need to what do i need to contemplate for my uh, uh, um, explanation and which areas may i need to create further research to to look at what my design idea is going to be how i'm going to create my specification and then how am i going to what designs am i going to present to my um client okay so that's that's what we're looking at sheet three quite different approaches there but all all of them are trying to do this um Design focus, so we've got design focus, fully understanding the impacts on society, 
um, investigation of design possibilities, if you can see that there. So, uh, and that is in this nine and ten, um, nine and ten mark band from the exam board. So that is sheet three for the design and technology um, NEA coursework, and we're calling this identifying and investigating design possibilities. Thank you for watching Mr Ridley's Design and Technology.